So after about two months, I think, of no drops, I think the last drop was the trippy red drop, which I forget exactly when that was, but I want to say it was almost two months ago, um, or at least two months before when this next drop is going to happen, which as the title says is Halloween. Revenge will be having a drop that lines up with their releases. It's going to be on a Sunday. Revenge usually releases on Sundays, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So guys can calculate what that will be for you. And the question everybody's probably wondering is what's going to be in the drop. This video is being recorded a week or so early. So we're just using leaked images to show off what's probably potentially dropping. Not the entirety of everything is going to be showcased in the video just because of how early it is leading up to the drop. And then revenge, like a couple days before, we'll probably post some lookbook photos or teasers. And then the day before or um, earlier that morning, the day of, they will drop the drop list so you can see everything that will actually drop that day. Also, if you guys are interested in revenge or just want to chill with streetwear people or whatever in general, if you're looking for something to do Sunday, one hour before the drop, I will be live streaming it. We'll answer all the questions, chat about whatever. And yeah, so hope to see you guys there. With that being said, we have this image right here, which showcases a clothing rack with what is assumed to be all of the drop pieces in it. As I stated, it's been almost two months since the previous drop, which was a trippy red drop. And then before that, I want to say it was also maybe like a month or a month and a half. I could be wrong. The last couple revenge drops have not been that memorable. So it makes sense that this would be a big drop. So we're gonna start on the far left hand side and then work our way right. I'll show you guys what we have leaked of those images and uh, give you guys a better idea of what it actually is. So starting far left, you guys can see we have some white and green socks and then behind it, it looks like there might be some black socks or and red socks also. Um, could also be underwear. We've seen them release red underwear as well as I think black underwear too, but um, with how those are positioned and they're also with the socks, maybe it's socks. My guess is either socks or underwear, but this one is unreleased. The green arc logo on the white socks and I forget how much they were. I want to say they're kind of expensive, like $20 for a pair. Maybe uh, I think that's possibly right. I bought some and gave them away, but um, we have that starting off and then moving forward, we have a pair of shorts, which are these ones right here. Here is the uh, front view I'll have up right now and then flop it over on the back. You know, it's just the same thing all over print. These are sweat shorts, which I don't think Revenge has done for maybe a little while. Maybe they had the mirror or the window design, whatever, on some sweat shorts, but I wasn't really crazy about how that blank was looking or that design. I think these are a lot better. This is just like the Massacre one. They've done Massacre designs before, where it's just an all over arc logo. This time around, obviously, we have the black on gray and then uh, the other one next to it looks like the same thing, but in a blue on black colorway version. So black blank and then blue logos. I think this one specifically is kind of an interesting nod because they did the lightning all over shorts way back, like 2016, 2017, around then. Uh, X has been seen wearing those, I think, or maybe it was a different colorway of that version. Those, of course, were mesh shorts, though, this time around, sweat shorts. Uh, Looking at the blank though, it looks really cheap, especially in this back view that I got up. That pocket does not look very nice. So there's those shorts. And then moving forward, it's a little like, you know, it's kind of up for interpretation, what this is gonna be. It's a little bit of an unknown, bit of a mystery, guessing this far forward. But we have what looks like four more pairs of shorts coming in four different colorways, obviously. Uh, zooming in, it looks like they are mesh shorts, which leads me to believe that it is these ones I'm going to talk about in a little bit. But as far as the co those colorways go, we have a blue one, a cream one, a black one, and then also a green one. So what do I think it is? I think it could very well be these shorts right here, which are champion mesh shorts. These got teased a while back. Just a big arc logo, probably screen printed. Uh, embroidery on the mesh would be really weird. So. I have a feeling it's going to be these shorts. We got a black one and the cream one teased right here. All we have to add is the blue and then the green and that's what it is. This drop has actually been a long time coming too. Like a lot of these pieces were teased so long ago. Those massacre shorts that we just looked at were teased like over a year ago. And then some hoodies that we're going to get into uh, were shown off like almost two years ago were the first leaks. So this stuff has been in works for a very long time. 
Uh, maybe, maybe they're running out of ideas or maybe they've been playing it for this long. It's been getting pushed back, but uh, next up is the only thing that I have kind of no idea what it's going to be. And that is the t-shirts. I think we have four different tees. I want to say maybe like, um, or three, I guess, looking at it closely, we have a pink one, a yellow one, and then a black t-shirt. And what, what are these going to be? I really got no idea. We're going to see some long sleeves. It could be the design that we see on the long sleeves done on those as well. But, um, any, anything is just like pure speculation. You know, the colorways don't match up with anything we've seen leaked before. I don't think so. I'm just going to skip over the t-shirts. Just know that there's a good chance that we do see some t-shirts in this drop. All right, so moving forward, we have a black and then a white shirt. And I believe these are the long sleeves because if you look at this other leaked photo right here, we have another view of the same clothing rack. Um, and we get to see the front of these like championship style long sleeves up top. I think you just have revenge, maybe down below a little bit more going on like champions or something. That black lump, that black one looks like you can see an S poking out. And then the center one is a ring, which they've been showing off the actual rings that they made right here. We got a skull world champions, 2021 Los Angeles. I feel like it's just going to be a, um, a digital representation of this ring, uh, put on the front graphic. Will we see this ring? <laughs> I don't know. The picture says ready question mark. And just like with a lot of other stuff from this drop, this was posted like several months ago. So I don't know. Uh, if the people were ready, I hope you guys are still waiting on that. And then moving forward um, from that one picture we just looked at, this is gonna be fun to edit. I just keep jumping back and forth. But uh, you can also see there's another long sleeve right there. I, I got no idea what this one is. There's no tease of it or anything. It's just black. So that one's up for interpretation. But moving back to our older, our like full clothing rack, we have some other stuff that we can check out. We see the basketball jerseys right here which are of course going to be these Houston Rocket jerseys I think I don't know I don't follow the NBA but I think that's what it is uh, on the front you have 21 revenge just a like pre-existing NBA graphic that they've done they just changed the revenge font or the font to say revenge and then on the back you can see that black colorway we just have revenge and then 21 below it very similar to the revenge Raptors jerseys they released I think maybe last summer or somewhere around then. All right, so next up we have these crew necks. We have a black crew neck and a red crew neck. There's no telling what's on them. We did, we can just see that there. I got no idea what, what's on there. We don't have any other clues, but if you look past that, we have two hoodies. We have a black one with a blue hood and then a gray one with a gray hood, which is going to be this image right, <laughs> right here. Um, this, of course, if you notice, this is a very old one. This is the one I talked about that they've been working on for like two years. You can see a little bit of a difference. The gray hoodie has a black hood here, but on the clothing rack, it had a gray hood. And then we also have this leak right here that shows that yes, the final product of this is a gray hooded version. So looks like they kept the blue hood for the black one, but they decided to swap it to, uh, all be one color with that gray on the gray version. On the front chest, we have the Motion logo, which is a logo that they've come back to every now and then. We've seen it embroidered on flannels recently. And I think they might have done something else uh, using it since then as well. And lastly, we have the final set of pieces that are on the clothing rack. These are teased pretty recently. Um, these are the flannels. We got three different colorways, as you can see up close in this picture right here. We have a red one or black and red, black and white, and then also a brown kind of like tan and then maybe a little bit of a peach colorway going on. And I really like, or maybe I don't really like it, but I vibe most with that brown and like peachy color one. The other colorways are maybe a little too basic for me. What do we have going on on the back? We have a big embroidered arc logo and we've seen up close of this before. I think it's more of like a uh, metallic embroidery. That's kind of what it looked like on one of the leaks that we've seen previously for this. And then on the front chest also, we're going to get an embroidered arc logo. Um, I'm, I'm guessing most of them are gonna be black colorway, maybe the brown one. I would hope they do white on that brown. It'd look a lot better than a black embroidery on that specific colorway. And I do have one of these flannels. I have the motion logo embroidered one and I'm just very disappointed in the fit of it. It's, it fits very poorly. I got an XL because I'm tall, I'm like 6'3". So I got an XL for length. 
and it barely goes past my waist like it's not big at all um it just gets wider and wider so it, it's kind of weird most of the undershirts i have poke out from underneath it quite a bit even and i'll probably be passing on these for that reason and then also i think the flannels are dumb expensive like 128 to 148 especially with how much embroidery is on these i wouldn't be surprised if they charge 148 for it and the material that the flannel's made of and the cut of it it's just definitely not worth 148 in my opinion but if you guys vibe with, if you guys vibe with it that much go ahead and get it there's also one more honorable mention that I want to make, which is this hoodie right here, which yes, it's not on the clothing rack. We saw some stuff that was like crewnecks and whatnot. Um, maybe this is what those crewnecks were. We're going to see this maybe on the red and the black colorway. Who knows? But this was also leaked very recently. There's a Halloween drop upcoming and this is captioned with happy Halloween. So we could see this full or not a full zip, um, just a zip hoodie doesn't have like the hood which they've done before but we got some spider webs on the cuffs a big r with a spider and then a little embroidery um, embroidered note on the hood but and this design is also shown up before on crewnecks i didn't save the image but um, i think they had it on like a green knit sweater a knit crew neck so th there's that but as far as the drop goes i think it's i think it's decent I'm glad they're putting out shorts, but I feel like it's a little too late. End of October, you know, it's definitely cooling down a lot of places. So I don't know, it doesn't make sense to be dropping six different pairs of shorts. Maybe, you know, this clothing rack isn't actually indicative of what will actually be dropping. Maybe that's just all the stuff that they got chilling before, but um, we have seen pictures of them shooting lookbook photos or behind the scenes and they have the same exact um, and they have the same exact clothing hangers like laying down to be uh, photographed as the ones that are hanging on that clothing rack. So it could be a connection there, could just be what they've got in stock for samples. But uh, this is our best idea of what's going to be dropping next Sunday, which is of course Halloween day. Like I said, join me at the live stream there. Am I going to cop anything? Maybe some shorts if they're reasonable. Their shorts have been just dumb expensive. A lot of their stuff has been getting too expensive for the quality of it. That's all I've got though. What are you guys planning on getting? As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next Sunday. I'll have more videos up before then, but uh, for you revenge guys, next Sunday.